And now let's work on operations with scientific notation. And we need to write the answer in scientific notation also. So how is this going to work? Well, I'm just going to start multiplying these guys. So 3.4 times 6.1 is equal to 20.74. Now, I need to multiply the tenths. 10 to the 4 times 10 to the 2, well, we can just add the exponents because the bases are the same and we're multiplying them. So 4 plus 2, 6. That's it. Is that the answer? No, because this is not in scientific notation. Since we have 20.74, and we want to bring the decimal point over to the left here first. So how do we do that? Well, we can convert this into scientific notation first. And that would be 2.074. And because I took this decimal point over to the left by one unit, I can write a 10 to the 1 here. One unit over there, right? Or what, one decimal place, rather. Times 10 to the 6, of course, because it has, whoops, it has stay there. And now, we're one step away from getting the answer. Now 10 to the 1 times 10 to the 6 is 10 to the 7. Now the answer is in scientific notation, and that's it. Now let's try this one. Similar question. So 4.8 times 7.2 is 34.56. Now 10 to the 7 times 10 to the negative 2 7 plus negative 2 is equivalent to 7 minus 2, which is 5. Again, the answer is not yet in scientific notation. So I'm going to make 34.56 equivalent to 3.456 times 10 to the 1 times 10 to the 5. And why again 10 to the 1? Because I took this decimal point over to the left here by one one jump, right? So I need to multiply 3.456 by 10 to the 1. Now I can combine these guys. So the answer would be 3.5, sorry, 3.456 times 10 to the 6, because 1 plus 5 is 6. And that's it.